morning guys welcome back to today's video of renovating our home so i have just got back from being up at the house i was up there meeting dom because now we have tiles in our hallway we were able to get the final floor height in our hall so we can order our staircase so i am just on stair box here hold on can you see it we have configured our stairs i'm just going to click on it here so you guys can have a look this is our staircase so what we have gone for is oak this is going to be like we've got oak rises and treads we've got oak um newel post and handrails and then we are going to just get some matte um wood stain so it like keeps the natural color of the oak instead of going like a kind of sort of yellowy orange oak if that makes sense and then as you can see we have got some glass going in the middle here this is embedded glass i didn't want to get clamped glass because i just feel like embedded glass looks a little bit more modern and will kind of fit our house a little bit better and then up here which it doesn't show we do obviously have the landing as well so we've got like a landing bit here which will also have glass and then like a half newel post at the end here the reason we've gone for glass is because obviously like this hallway we haven't got any windows at our front door so we've got the big skylight at the top here and we just wanted as much natural light to like flood into our hallway as possible and we felt that by having glass it would not only make like it would suit a house because it's quite a sort of modern looking house but it will also just let as much light in as possible so yeah this is the staircase we've gone for a sort of bull nose rounded um bottom stair here i think it's gonna look blinking lovely we are like i said going for an oak staircase and that's the reason why i've had to wait so late to order it because it needs to be perfect don wanted to wait until we had the final floor height before taking any measurements because he wanted to just basically get them like millimeter perfect and the great thing with stair box they come really quickly so don thinks they'll be here next week so they won't obviously be in this week's video but hopefully they will be in next week's video and i feel like once we have a staircase then we can actually move home i mean we might have to move home before the staircase is in because we've got two weeks until we have to be out of this place but Dom's pretty confident that they'll arrive on time. So the other things going on this week is more tiling. Shane the tiler is going to be finished at the end of this week and also we have our skirtings, architraves and doors being fitted. They're just going to do upstairs at the moment because obviously Shane the tiler is downstairs. Um, and then once he's finished, they'll come back and fit downstairs too. So yeah, all very excited. Chris and I are also going to start sorting out the boys' furniture upstairs as well. So once the people come in, like the, the carpenters come in and fit the skirtings and architraves upstairs, we will then get the boys' bedrooms sorted, beds made up, ready for us to move home soon. So let's get on with this week's video. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to follow along on Instagram for even more updates. We've just come up to the house to look for a couple of bits in the container and I just thought I'd show you what it looks like oh my gosh it's like completely chock-a-block still um I just had to like look volley over everything there to get in um oh my gosh I don't know where to even start there's a couple of things in here already that I can see that I know I don't want to like take into the house so I need to sell like this unit here behind me I'm gonna sell that just like i literally just put it on like our local facebook page so then someone can come and collect it quite soon i know i want to sell this bed down here can't see it. it's like a gray lift up bed i'll put that on ebay probably and then i've got like a coat stand here that i know we won't be using again so all these different bits i'm going to when we can i'll get them all out and we can sell them so yeah this is what our container looks like but look what i did find all my winter stuff oh these are all my winter jumpers and my coats and stuff but i feel like there's no point getting them out oh it's like i've got a whole new wardrobe in there it's so exciting i'll just zip that back up oh, i can't wait to get that suitcase out that's going to go straight upstairs and straight into my wardrobe so i wanted to show you what i have just had delivered in our bedroom upstairs we are having this lampshade so because we're just having a pendant light the um, electrician would have just put in like a white pendant and a white rose but i didn't want that so i just went online i'll link the place where i got this down below um hopefully i can find it again but i just it's this whole set here I think was about £20. So I bought this wooden rose because I thought that would look a lot nicer in the ceiling with the woven 
light shade and then I also bought this as the cord so instead of having the white cord instead you will have this cord so I don't know if you can see in here I can't um, focus on it now but this does actually have the electrics in it so you buy the cord by the meter so I just got one meter of the cord I think this was only about four pounds or so so I just think it's going to look a lot nicer than having like a white or black pendant um, rope coming down so yeah I'm really pleased with it I feel like that's a little bit of a detail that um, I'm going to enjoy <laughs> doors look like these are from skirting world and um, this is actually where we got all of our skirting and architrave I'll show you what that looks like in a minute so this is a London door from them and I think it's quite a traditional looking door so obviously we're going quite modern in our house but I thought it was quite nice to have a little bit of like traditional things in here too and these are gonna probably I think be painted black this door comes already primed and undercoated just means that say if you're gonna keep it white you just need one more coat on top of this, apparently, and then it's done. But obviously because we're going black, we'll need like probably two coats of the black to go on top of this. But I really, really like it. It's got like a little kind of like inset detail on um, the top and then it's got a little break here and then another little inset detail on the back. I can't really go back far enough to show you it in full because of all of this stuff on the floor here. This is all of our skirting architrave. This is our architrave actually, as you can see, it's a thinner one. And then it's just got a little groove out of it and it's exactly the same as our skirting so it feels a little bit rough now so i just need to get it sanded down and then again this has been uh, primed and undercoated as well so apparently it just needs a top coat but again i think probably we'll do two coats on that cut company are here now and they are fitting all of this so here's our skirting it definitely needs two coats because as you can see there's like a little shadow gap here so it's just a just going for a really, really plain skirting, but then I really love the fact that it has this like, little shadow gap in it as well. And then, as you can see, it goes around here, and then the architrave matches it. We've got the door liners in here, so yeah, once this is all put in, then the decorator can come and do what he needs to do to make it look really nice. And then, obviously, we'll also cork it up, cork it down here too. It's got a good finish. So Chris and I have just gone up to the house. We've got loads of sandpaper and stuff like that because um, you when you get to the end of a project, you always run out of money. Well, we're at that stage now. We were going to get a decorator to do all of our, um, like the top coat of our skirting and architraves. But to be honest, in every house we've had, we've always done it ourselves. So we've decided that we're going to do it upstairs. Not many people are gonna see the upstairs anyway. And I think we can do a good job. I've got quite a steady hand. I'm quite good at like, DIY and bits and bobs like that um, and upcycles so we're gonna do it so we just went and got some sandpaper we got some polyfiller we got some satin wood um, paint and we're just gonna come up here have a little bit of a tidy up because everyone's finished up here now and then um, do the painting <laughs> We're going to judge how well we do up here as to whether we do downstairs as well. Right, so I've just got this. It's a really fine sandpaper. So if you feel along here, I mean, there's just tiny little bits that I think need sort of taking off. So I'm literally just rubbing it a little bit and then I'm getting my sandpaper in the shallow shadow gap and I'm just going to run it along the top bit and, uh, oops, and along the bottom like that. And that's it. That's literally... Yeah, if I feel it, all those little like little bits have been taken off. And then Chris is around there with the polyfiller. So he is literally just filling all these little holes where they have put little like nails in it um, to attach it to the wall. 
So I don't think this is going to take long because I've already actually done quite a few bits already. That's perfect. Ready, and then we need to, need to clean the top of them all and clean the floor around here. Get, just get a hoover and sort of take those away and then we can start painting. So, I showed you our skirts and architecture at the beginning and I showed you how it, was, it came all like primed and undercoated, but two doorways up here and a couple downstairs, I think there's one downstairs, are actually like, here's the primed and undercoated one. And that's the size door liner we got. But for example, this door here, as you can see, it's got a unprimed door liner because this needed a, like a fatter door liner. So Cut Company had to go and get some more wood for um, the bigger door liners to fit. So I am now priming those. And then tomorrow, um, when the tiler is just in, we are going to come and paint the woodwork. So there's like no dust flying around and things like that. So yeah, I've just done this one here. And now I'm going to do Jamie's bedroom. Painting and decorating has definitely got, like it's definitely an art. This is why we wanted to get professionals in to do it because they just do a, such a better job than we could ever do. But I do think by doing it ourselves up here, it's going to save quite a lot of money. So hopefully I will do it justice. <laughs> So we had our internal door handles delivered, thought I'd show you them quickly. So they're just matte black. These are from the door handle company. And then we have three locks as well for the bathrooms that are just black, the same as this. And they're just like a black square, a little twisty lock thing. But yeah, this is the handles. I think they're so nice. And they're gonna look great on those London doors, which are painted black. We are at the end of this week and I thought I would just show you what the house looks like now. So it looks like an absolute mess, but it's because obviously um, Shane is still here just finishing off the last bits of tiles. So what he's gonna do tomorrow, he's got a little bit you'll see left in the hallway to do, and then he's gonna remove all of this mess here and he's gonna clean up the whole floor and then he's going to start grouting. So by the end, well, it won't be in this video, but in next week's video, the tiling will be complete. But I just love it. Let me try actually go over here so I can show you. Quite a few of you have asked, what these tiles are. So these tiles are called Portland White and they are from Porcelain Superstore. I'll put a link down to them in the description box. Um, and they're just like a really lovely light gray, but they've got like darker gray flecks in it. So that I thought, you know, if they do get dirty, cause they will, I've got kids and a dog, um, then the kind of darker fleck will, sort of break up the dirt a little bit. And then we are having a light gray grout in the middle of these. What he's done here, obviously this back wall is going to have our kitchen on it. So he's just used cuts of the tiles um, to fill in that as much as he can. And then down this side, we're going to have our fridge freezer. So he wanted to do full cuts all the way to the end. But this was just because otherwise he would have had to use a whole new tile when you won't see it because they'll be covered with the units anyway. So this is what it's looking like in here. It's all done. I mean, that looks ugly, but that's gonna be boxed in. And then we're gonna have our washing machine and tumble dryer in there over through into the other bit of the house. In here, we are having a tile put in there as well. We can't have any more of a tile put in here because the pipes start to come up. Look what the cut company have done so far. They've done our um, door liners and architraves here. They haven't done any skirting down here because they're obviously waiting for Shane to finish the flooring first. But this just completely transforms the house. So if we have a look over here, you can see this is the old door frame that we used to walk through all the time. And I kind of got a little bit used to it, seeing it all kind of tatty like this. But now that we've had a door liner put on, um, we haven't had this architrave put on this side yet but we have on this side, it looked exactly the same on this size, side as it did the other side. And as you can just see, it just looks really nice and neat now. So once these are painted and the doors go on, it's just going to look so much nicer. In here, what we're having, we're not gonna have any skirting boards. We're actually just gonna have an upstand of tile because this is a bathroom. We thought if water gets onto the edges, it'll go onto a tile instead of a skirting. And then as you can see down here in our hallway, he just needs to finish off this last area. Our house is actually a little bit wonky. <laughs> so as you can see, these tiles are running straight, but they kind of bow a bit at the end because um, 
yeah, like I said, it's an old house, it's not running straight. So we couldn't decide at the beginning if we want to have it running straight from there, but then you would see the bow down at that end. So we thought it was better to start down there and let it run out to that way, because at the front door we will be having like a unit there and also a mat. So I think it's actually best this way. So let me just take you upstairs quickly. Right, I'm just gonna go this far because I wanna show you guys the hallway. So as you can see, that's my freshly primed door liner and that side. So tomorrow, Chris and I are gonna come up and paint the rest of it, but you won't be able to see that in this video. But all of our skirting and architraves are done up here. They just need to hang the doors. In there, that is what I mean about the tile upstand. That's what we're gonna have in our downstairs bathroom as well, instead of the skirting. So yeah. It's looking really good. So that is the end of this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Just to let you know a little bit of what's happening next week, we have a couple of biggies. The kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen is starting to be fitted next week. So you are gonna see a little bit of that in next week's video, and then it will carry on into the week after video. Um, we'll also have most of our doors hung. We have got six fire doors that are just not in stock anywhere. So um, we have ordered them now, they're on pre-order, they're coming at the beginning of November. So the, we have five doors that will be hung and then the other six will, be, six will be hung sometime in November when they arrive. The grouting will have been complete down here as well. And we are gonna start building a lot of furniture too. The boys, Ikea wardrobes have arrived. Both their beds have arrived. We've also got a big storage unit that we need to be building for our storage shed thing. And um, yeah, it's gonna be organizing because we literally moved home in like 10 days now. So it's full steam ahead to try and get the house looking a bit more like a home before we move back. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.